The Kraft Food Company presents Harold Perry as the Great Gildersleeve. The Great Gildersleeve is brought to you by the Kraft Foods Company, makers of Parquet Margarine. Millions of women all over America serve Parquet because it tastes so good. Why, Parquet tastes like it should cost twice as much. To market, to market, to get some Parquet. Home again, home again, try it today. You'll like it, you'll love it, like millions who say their favorite margarine is. P-A-R-K-A-Y. Parquet margarine made by Kraft. Well, let's look in on Floyd Munson's barber shop this morning. That plump form under the barber sheet is none other than Summerfield's distinguished water commissioner, Throckmorton P. Gildersleeve. While strolling through the park one day In the merry, merry month Floyd, of... never mind the concert. Just get on with the shave. Okay, Commish. Mm -hmm. uh. Steady now, I'm going around your second chin. <laughs> Very funny. There you are. Smooth as a newborn babe. Uh. Hey, Commish, as long as you're in the chair, how about a haircut? No, thanks, Floyd. Massage? No. Mustache trim? The answer is no, Floyd. N-O. I've got to get down to the office. I'm late. Late? You never get down there before 10 o'clock. Well, sometimes. But anyway, I'm a little behind in my work. Oh. Mayor after you again? Well, no, not exactly. I just don't want to push him too far. <laughs> well, if you don't mind my saying so, Commish, you got the wrong attitude. What? The mayor's the one that ought to do the worrying. What do you mean? If you ask me, you've done a pretty good job as water commissioner. Well, not so bad, I guess. And where would the mayor find another man with your experience? Why, you're so much at home in the water department as a whale in the ocean. Well... When you come right down to it, Commish, you don't need him. He needs you. Well, I never thought about it that sure, way. Sure, water commissioners don't grow on trees, you know. No, guess they don't. Now, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you don't have to... You don't have to rush to the office. Let the mayor wait for you. He'll appreciate you all the more. All right, George Floyd. Maybe you got something there. Sure. Um, Kamish, as long as you're not in a hurry, how about a haircut? Well, okay. Maybe a massage? Massage, huh? Mustache trim? Sure, what the heck. Give me the works. Let the mayor wait. That's the stuff. Let him wait. <laughs> <laughs> While strolling through the park one day <laughs> in, in the, the merry, merry month of May, I was taken by surprise. Yes, hmm. I didn't date at Floyd's quite so long. Why let him talk me into that egg shampoo? I'm really going to be late. 10.30. That courthouse clock is always slow. I'd better hurry. What's that? Oh, they're working on that new building. Gosh. Interesting the way they catch those rivets up there. At that time, I'd watch them for a while. Uh, I gotta be... Just a minute, Gildersleeve. What are you rushing for? Floyd's right. Let the mayor wait. I'll take my own sweet time. Just sit on this fire plug here. Uh, hmm. They ought to make these hydrants a little bigger. <laughs> Might as well light up a cigar, too. Ah. Uh. Always fun to watch somebody else working. Well, Gilday. Oh, uh, hello, Judge. What are you doing on that water hydrant? Is that your new office? <laughs> Uh, yes. Gildy, why aren't you down at work? Oh, I'll get there. 
You realize what time it is? Yes, it's time for you to retire, Judge. <laughs> Gilder, you should have been down at the water department a long time ago. Oh, I don't know about that. What will the mayor say? If the mayor doesn't like it, he can lump it. <laughs> Gilday, you better get right down there or you're going to lose your job. Don't worry that feeble old brain of yours, Horace. The mayor won't fire me. What? Water commissioners don't grow on trees, you know. Well, nuts do, and you're the biggest one I ever saw. <laughs> get that skinny finger out of my face, Hooker. You're spoiling the view. Just remember, I warned you. Why don't you go nibble on some weeds, you old goat? Gilday? <laughs> <laughs> Through the park one day In the merry, merry month of Good morning, Bessie Mr. Gildersleeve, I'm glad you got here Why? Oh, it's very important The mayor's been calling you Oh, is that all? I thought you said it was something important But Mr. Gildersleeve, I said it was the mayor I heard you Oh, he says he wants to see you as soon as you come in I'll see him when I'm good and ready Huh? Bessie, close your mouth And stop staring at me Yes, sir There's nothing to worry about Water commissioners don't grow on trees, you know. What? Oh, that must be the mayor. Let me handle this, Bessie. Well, go ahead, chum. It's your nickel. What? This is Mayor Terwilliger speaking. Well, this is Water Commissioner Gildersleeve speaking. I've been calling your office all morning, and I couldn't get you. Guess that's because I wasn't here. <laughs> Gildersleeve, I want to see you in my office right away. Okie dokie, Mayor. Goodbye. Goodbye, shorty. <laughs> Was he mad, Mr. Gildersleeve? A little hot under the collar. But I'll go in and cool him off. Hello, Mr. Mayor. Hello, Gildersleeve. Uh, oh, I didn't know you had company. Yes, I want you to meet this young man. Gildersleeve, this is Charles Alexander. Oh, uh, hello, Charles. Hello, Mr. Gildersleeve. Charles is a friend of the family. Oh, is that so? He just graduated from State University. In fact, he was their star halfback last year. Well, he's certainly husky enough. <laughs> Well, son, I suppose you'll be looking for a job now. Well, I have a job lined up, Mr. Gildersleeve. Oh, that's nice. Going to work in a gas station? Well, no, that's not in my line. Oh? Well, what did you study in school, Charles? I took hydraulic engineering. Hmm? Uh, we studied water systems and things. Water systems? Oh, yes, of course. Right in my line. <clears throat> if I can give you any pointers, my boy, don't you hesitate to call on me. That's why I called you in, Gildersleeve. I want you to show Charles around our water department. Our water department? Yes, I want him to become thoroughly acquainted with the Summerfield water system. You do? Yes. When you get through, I want him to know how to run the entire department. Run the department? That's right. We need youth in this business, Gildersleeve. We old fellows can't go on forever. Well, but Mr. Mayor... Charles will meet you in your office tomorrow morning, 9 o'clock, sharp. But that'll be all. Good day. Thanks a lot, Mr. Gildersleeve. I hope I won't be putting you out. I hope so, too. I mean... <laughs> Hmm. I don't like the looks of this. Why does he want me to show that young squirt how to run my department? If I were a worrier, I'd say I was going to be fired. I was so happy this morning. That Floyd and his ideas. The mayor said, we old fellows can't go on forever. Maybe I am slowing down a little. It does take me longer to tie my shoes in the morning. <laughs> well, I'm getting tired of walking around this block. Guess I'll drop into Peavy's. Hello, Peavy. Well, hello, Mr. Gildersleeve. <laughs> what can I do? Just give me a cup of coffee. Uh, one cup of coffee coming up. Uh, 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 uh. There, there you are. Thank you. Well, Mr. Gildersleeve, how's everything down at the water department? What? Uh, what made you ask me that, Peavy? Oh, nothing. Just furnishing a little conversation with your coffee. No extra charge. <laughs> well, I don't feel like talking about the water department. All yeah, right. Peavy, do I look old to you? How's that? 
I said, do I look old to you? Hmm, no, you don't look very old. I don't? On the other hand, you don't look very young either. <laughs> You're not exactly a spring chicken. All right, Peavy. But an older man can do a better job than a younger man any day. Mm, I don't know. What? I had an old fellow here once, helping me make up prescriptions. But he didn't work out too well. He didn't? No, he was too slow. For instance, a lady came in for some headache powder. By the time he got them made up, her headache was gone. <laughs> Lost a lot of sales that way. Uh, Finally had to let him go. Well, by George, I'm not too old to hold on my job. No, I didn't say you were. I'm valuable down at that water department. Well, of course you are. They need a man of my experience. Yes, they do. No young college boy could take my place. Why, it would take him ten years to learn what I know about the water department. No, no I wouldn't say that. Oh! <laughs> You know, you ought to see the Gildersleeve family sit down to a big home-cooked meal with Bertie looking mighty pleased because everybody likes her cooking so much. You talking about me, Mrs. Wall? Only about how good your cooking is, Bertie. Well, I always make sure to use parquet. Not that I'm taking any credit. Oh, it's wonderful on that crusty homemade bread of yours. Bread is only one way we like it, Mr. Wall. I ain't taking any credit, but I use parquet from the time I start my meal. I use parquet when I'm cooking and when I'm flavoring, and I use parquet as a spread for all my baked goods. Not that I'm taking any credit. I know, Bertie. You use parquet because it tastes like it should cost twice as much. And thousands of good cooks all over the country use it for the same reason. They like the delicate flavor parquet has because it's made from the selected products of American farms. And they like the economy of using parquet. It costs only about half as much as the most expensive spread. Friends, why not join the happy women who always use parquet to make good food taste even better? That's what I do. Not that I'm taking any credit, but if I was, I'd give lots of it to parquet. That P-A-R-K-A-Y, parquet margarine made by Kraft. Gildersleeve has had a sleepless night. He's finally accepted the cruel fact that youth must be served and his days as water commissioner are numbered. We find him now, bowed but brave, having breakfast with his little family. Want some more toast, Unky, dear? Uh, no, thank you, Marjorie. You can have the rest of my egg, Unk. No, thanks, my boy. You haven't eaten very much. I've had sufficient. Uncle Mort, I think it's the meanest thing I ever heard of. Letting you go after all the years you've been down there. Well, too many years, I guess. Your Uncle Mort is getting old, my dear. Nonsense. You're not old at all. And he has no business doing a thing like this without any warning. Yeah, the mayor's a sneak. Yeah. No, Leroy. We don't speak of our elders in those terms. After all, he is the mayor of our fair city. Even if he is a sneak. <laughs> but what are you going to do when you leave the department? Yeah, do you know where you can get a Oh, I'll find something, I guess. What will you do, Unky? Well, I don't know exactly. Most of my experience has been concerned with water. Maybe you can get a job in a laundromat. Leo. <laughs> I'm sure I can find something more appropriate, Leroy. Well, until you do, I'll economize, Unky. I won't buy any more clothes. Well... Say, Unk, I could quit school and go to work. That won't be necessary, Leroy. I could drop out today if you want me to. <laughs> Don't be so anxious, young man. Just stop worrying, both of you. You'll get by, all right. You better run along now. You'll be late for school. All right. See you tonight, Uncle Mort. You sweet old darling. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, my dear. Bye. Unc. Yes? Sure you don't want me to quit school today? No, Leroy. Okay. Gee, I guess I'll have to take that history test. So long, Uncle. So long, my boy. And don't worry, I'll get a 
a job and support you as soon as I graduate. Yeah, thanks, but I'm afraid we can't wait that long. <laughs> yeah, goodbye. <laughs> sure nice to have a little family to rally around you at a time like this. We'll get along somehow. <laughs> well, better get down to the office, I guess. Teach that smiling halfback how to run things. I shouldn't. So I'll be faithful to the water department to the last drip. <laughs> Want some more coffee before you go, Mr. Gilsey? Coffee? No, thank you, Bertie. Mr. Gilsey, I just want you to know I sure feel bad about this. Well, that's nice of you, Bertie. I'll be all right. Of course, it'll feel a little strange not being water commissioner anymore. Mr. Gilsey, no matter what happens, you'll still be the water commissioner to me. Thank you, Bertie. Yes, sir. Even if the mayor does throw you out, you'll still be the water commissioner to me. Well, I appreciate that. No matter what you wind up doing, driving a milk wagon, cleaning the streets, you'll still be the water commissioner to me. Bertie. Yes, sir. Even if you're out selling pencils on some corner. Bertie, I have no intention of selling pencils. Well, if you do sell them, I'll buy them, and you'll still be the water commissioner to me. <laughs> oh, Bert. Goodbye, Bertie. Goodbye. Water Commissioner. <sighs> Life is certainly funny. Yesterday morning, I was carefree as a bird. Thought the mayor couldn't get along without me. Now I'll be out looking for another job pretty soon. I wonder if I could get a job in a laundromat. <laughs> Looks like easy work. Just sit around all day and hand out soap chips. <laughs> uh, gonna miss the old water department. Well, it's my own darn fault, I guess. I was a grasshopper when I should have been an ant. Uh, Floyd's Barbershop fine advice he gave me. I'd go in and punch him in the nose if I were a younger man. Hey, come here. Don't talk to me, Floyd. What's the right? I'm going to the office, and I'm in a hurry. What? Like I told you yesterday, Commish, relax. Let the mayor wait. <laughs> Floyd. Stop worrying about your job. You're set for life. Commish, what's the matter? Who are you going to hear for that briefcase? Guess who? Just a minute. Something wrong? Oh, no. I'm just losing my job, that's all. What? No kidding? Yes, no kidding. Gee, that's tough, Commish. I mean, ex commissioner <laughs> Who's taking your place? Well, if you must know, some college boy. I'm going down to break him in right now. A college kid. How do you like that? I suppose you'll be making out the water bills in Latin. <laughs> You're going to show him the ropes, huh? Yes, I am. Uh-huh. Teach him how to run the department? Yes. Well, don't give up the ship, Commish. What? I just got an idea. Floyd, you can keep your ideas to yourself. I'm in enough trouble now. Okay. Just thought you might want to know a sure way to get rid of this guy. Well, I don't. Uh, get rid of him? <laughs> Floyd, I should have more sense than to ask you. But how? Well, just suppose you was to make your job at the water department look so tough, this guy wouldn't want to take it. Look tough? Yeah, put it on thick. Make it look like you get nothing but complaints down there. Well, I do get quite a few. Yeah, I know, but put on a big act. Make him think it's the toughest job in the world. Of course, you and me know an educated chimpanzee could really do it. It's Floyd. <laughs> well, that's my advice. Scare the guy off. Oh, fair. Well, think it over, Commish. I'll see you later. Bum jour. <laughs> bum jour. It's a bum idea, too. Scare the fellow off. Now, that's silly. Well, you never know, though. Might work. I've got nothing to lose. By George, I'll try it. I'll show that rah-rah boy. When I get through, he'll wish he'd never seen a water department. I'll run him ragged. I'll work him 24 hours a day. No time off for lunch. We'll clean out the files. Check the collections. Make out the water report. <laughs> Good morning, Bessie. 
No, she's not here yet. Well, I'll uh, just go in my office. I'll be all set when that half Good morning, Mr. Gildersleeve. Uh, good morning, Charles. You're here already? Uh, yes, sir. Hmm. Sitting in my chair, too. Taking over already, eh? Well, I'm glad you got here early, young man. We've got a lot of work to do today. I mean, we have a lot of work to do every day. <laughs> We're always busy in the water department. Uh, what shall we do first? Well, I'll take my coat off here and get down to work. Uh, if I can have my chair, please. Oh, excuse me. Yeah. Hmm. Yes, Charles, that's all we do in the water department. Work, work, work. Now, let's see. What are all these letters on my desk? I, I brought those in, Mr. Gildersleeve. It's the morning mail. Oh. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's open it. Uh, yes, sir. That's the way we do things around here, Charles. No time for thinking. I mean, <laughs> quick decisions. <laughs> Every minute. I see. Yes, sir. Well, let's see what this letter says. Dear Mr. Gildersleeve, you know as much about running a water department as my little nephew, and he's in the first... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> We'll read the mail later. Uh, Mr. Gildersleeve, um, I want you to know I appreciate you showing me how to run the water department. It's very kind of you. Quite all right, my boy. Of course, I can't understand a young man wanting to be a water commissioner. Nothing but trouble, drudgery, long hours. Damp, too. But, of course, it's up to you. <laughs> That's you, Bessie? Yes, Mr. Gildersleeve. Good morning. I... Oh... Bessie, this is Mr. Alexander. I'm showing him around the water department. Hello, Bessie. Hello. Bessie, close your mouth. This is mosquito season. Uh, Mr. Alexander, uh, Charles. Uh, yes? Would you mind checking the water cooler in the outer office? Checking it? Yes, checking it. Make sure there's plenty of water in it. Oh, uh, all right. Uh, <clears throat> Bessie? Charles is going to be around here all day, so let's be on our toes. Yes, sir. Is he going to work here, Mr. Gildersleeve? Well, looks like it. Oh, I'm glad. Gee, he's cute. Uh, uh, well, in a way, if you like, crew haircuts. But you wouldn't want to have a college kid like that for a boss, would you, Bessie? Well... Bessie, stop standing around and get to work. Yes, sir. Uh, that's loyalty for you. Now, Mr. Gildersleeve... Yes, Charles? The water cooler's full. What? Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, very good. Very good. <laughs> very important in the water department. <laughs> well, Charles, we can't just sit around here. Hope you can keep up with me. First, let's get on the water reports. There. Well, Charles, that brings our card files up to date. That's right, Mr. Gildersleeve. Gosh, you certainly have done a lot of work this morning. Oh, I don't know, just routine. Well, you got out all the water reports, corrected those invoices, sent out all those bills. Do you always work this hard? Why, this is nothing, son. You should see me on a busy morning. Why, I have to work every night till midnight, just to keep even. Really? Oh, of course. In fact, I never take time out for lunch. I don't know how I stand it. It's wearing me down. You don't look very thin, Mr. Gildersleeve. Hmm? Well, I drink a lot of water. <laughs> water commissioner, you know. <laughs> well, 12 o'clock. I'll make an exception and go to lunch today. You're probably pretty hungry. Oh, I don't want you to break your rules for me. If you can go without your lunch, I guess I can too. Huh? You can? Uh, what shall we do next, Mr. Gildersleeve? Uh, next? Well, let's make out those requisitions. <laughs> Charles, maybe we better stop for a while. It's six o'clock. It is. Time sure flies when you're working. Yes, well, I don't want to wear you out, son. Maybe you'd better go to dinner now. But, but there's still so much to do. I know. Let's work straight through till midnight. Huh? Don't you want to eat something, boy? You're growing, you know. You're probably pretty hungry. Oh, I can hold out if you can. You can? Sure. And just lucky I brought along something to eat. A package of mints. Here, have one. A mints? Oh, thanks. Well, shall we get on with our work? I feel fresh as a daisy. 
<laughs> Maybe I'm getting too old for this job. <laughs> Yes, Mr. Gildersleeve? It's midnight. You can quit now. You must be all worn out. Oh, you don't have to worry about me. I just got my second wind. I hope it chokes him. <laughs> Tell you what. Let's work all night. All night? Charles? Yes? Can I have another mint? <laughs> for a younger man. Well, good morning, Gildersleeve. Good morning, Mayor. Sit down. Thank you. Mind if I take this easy chair? Gildersleeve, Charles tells me you did a fine job teaching him the operations of our water department. Say, It'll be very helpful to him in his new job in the state water department. Huh? State Water Department? Yes, he left this morning. He's going to be an assistant there. He is, but I thought... Why, we need young men like him in this work. Of course, it'll be a long time before he'll be a water commissioner. That calls for an older, more experienced man like yourself. It does? I mean, oh, yes, of course. <laughs> uh, you know Gildersleeve water commissioners don't go on trees. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, I just want to say I'm proud of you. Those reports you made out yesterday are the finest I've ever seen. Yes, Gildersleeve, you've proved that you can be a great water commissioner. You showed initiative, stamina. You're wide awake, energetic. Have a full grasp of the... Uh, the uh, Gildersleeve. Uh, uh, Gildersleeve. Huh? You're going to sleep. I am. Uh, Mr. Mayor, would you mind untying my shoes? <laughs> Good night, sir. It's sort of nice when you find out your favorite food is really good for you. When you learn, for example, that parquet margarine is so nourishing, besides being reinforced with 15,000 units of essential vitamin A. Now, the careful and painstaking way it's prepared accounts for the nutritional value in parquet. And it accounts for something else, the flavor, the light, delicate flavor that has led so many to agree that parquet tastes like it should cost twice as much. Try parquet on buns or waffles, pancakes or bread. I think you'll like that luxury flavor so much that you'll... Well, you almost forget that parquet is so good for you. That's P-A-R-K-A-Y, parquet margarine, made by Kraft. What'll it be this morning, Commissioner Shave? Give me the works, Floyd, and you were right. Water commissioners don't grow on trees. <laughs> While strolling through the park one day In, in the, the merry, merry month of May We were, were taken, taken by surprise, surprise. <laughs> Good night, folks. Have you had a hankering for that old-fashioned, aged, natural American cheese? If so, you'll be glad to know that now, for the first time since before the war... Kraft has plenty of those mellow golden wheels. Since 1941, the demand for cheese has been so great that it's been difficult to set aside enough for aging. But now, at long last, Kraft has enough to supply your dealer with all he needs. Ask him for a big wedge cut from a golden wheel of mellow good aged natural American. Just be sure that it's the kind that's been carefully aged by the master cheesemakers of Kraft. This is NBC.